Oh no, 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 no. I just forgot something. Hello? Uh, really? Power just went off and back on. I don't know. Maybe they hit something while they're working on the other lines. Well, that was not a good start. As you may know, I've been having some power issues. Storms blowing through, knocked out the power for a few days. But, anyways. Hey, welcome back everybody to New Lands Zero to One Hundred Million Dollar Survival Challenge I am doing here. We are looking over these two grass fields because that's probably what I'm going to do first. But hey, just want to thank everybody for watching and following along on this series. It has been so much fun making it. I really enjoy it. I've got a lot of comments written down. I actually have 17 comments I want to go over, but I don't think I'm going to do it all in this one episode. I'm just going to spread them out here and there. Uh, I did look a little more into how to set up some course play and get it more automatic for my grass field so I can start doing less with it. But hey, while that's going, let's go over the goals. Well, it's not going anywhere, but let's go over the goals real quick. All our fields are harvested, so the goals for this episode are going to be plant oats, corn, oats, and oats. Yeah, oats three times. So this field over here, I want to go ahead and do another round of oats on it. This field over here, I want to do another round of corn on it. These two fields over here, oats and oats. And then what am I going to do with this massive field over here? I'm going to do sugar beets. Good thing is they all plant right around the same time, except for the corn is April. So I could probably wait till April and plant them all at the exact same time. And that is what it's looking like for the fields. Next up goals are harvest it all. <laughs> kind of crazy, but there's a lot of sitting in between planting and then harvest time. So why not? Let's harvest it all. I had three new productions. I don't know why I picked three. There's only one of them I'm interested in, but hey, let's go ahead and add some more. Get some of this money coming in. Well, the one I'm interested in is the cut beet production. I'm going to cut these beets after I harvest them. Make a little bit more money. And add an animal. Yeah, just one animal. <laughs> now, I'm going to add an animal pen. I don't know what type of animal yet. I'm kind of leaning towards chickens. Because I think I might want to make a cake. And I'm pretty sure I need eggs. But hey, that's the goals quite a bit. Got a lot of work to do. Let me get started on this field here. But while I'm getting everything set up on this field, I want to say thank you to our channel members here. Uh, I did get a new one. We got... I'm probably going to say it totally wrong. Auto Sim? Auto Sim crew? I'm thinking Auto Sim crew. I, I, I'm sorry if that's wrong. I mean, O-T-T-O, Sim Crew, Odo Sim Crew. He is another content creator. And I went over there, checked out his channel. I've been subscribed to him for a while. But I just don't have much time to watch, I guess. Can't pull up my course play menu. That I usually use down here in the bottom. But I've really got used to that thing being there. Hold on, let me check that out real quick. Maybe there's something wrong with the key pundits. Alright, I figured it out. That actually changed to... Oops, let me slow that speed down. That actually changed to, uh, delete somehow. But yeah, I'm gonna work on that, get this mowing going. Let's see here. While this is going, what I was talking about was Odo Sim Crew. Sorry if I'm saying that wrong. I went over there, checked out his channel some more, and he is pretty active on YouTube as far as posting farm sim content. Actually, a lot of good content, too. Not just saying that because he's a channel member, but... I like to uh, give a big shout out to them, especially whenever they're new. And I do put them where you just probably saw coming down. Try to put that within the first few minutes. He's got a Grandpa's Farm 1980s series going. It's pretty cool, I guess. It's kind of based upon his life growing up in the 80s. Well, I guess he was a kid at that time, but that's what he's going with from what I understand. I asked him a little bit about it and I watched a couple episodes of that and it was actually really, really good. I liked it. So yeah, go check him out. I will link his channel down in the description so you guys can find him easier. Of course, check him out after you finish this video. That would help out a lot with my watch time. <laughs> but hey, I'm gonna work on this field. I'm gonna play around with my course play and my auto drive. Try to get them linked up really good where I can start having my trailers dump automatically. 
because I haven't figured that out quite yet. And they're blocked by an object, of course. Let me show you what that is. I already know what it is. I keep forgetting about this thing. Do, 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 do. Right here, this sign. Just go ahead and move you out of the way. There it goes. Oh, I always forget about that. Uh, yep, let me roll, let this run through. I'm going to see if I can figure out this auto drive and course place set up and get these grass fields taken care of. Don't really need the grass, I guess. I mean, I have about 300,000 liters of grass, but I'm just going to go ahead and store it anyways. I need the money, maybe for the silage later or something along those lines. While the grass stuff is going over there, I'm going to look into some chicken coops. I think I'm just going to go with like the biggest one I can find. I mean, 900 capacity here. I have wheat, I have about 80 some thousand liters of wheat. And I am back over here in this area. Told you I'd figure out something for this. Pretty nice looking coop. I like that. Maybe a little too American looking. Whoa. Oh gosh, I was so confused. Okay. <laughs> oh, I saw 300,000. I thought that was the chickens. I, I, I wasn't paying attention. Okay. It's 300,000 liters. All right, looking like the biggest one is this one with 900 chickens. And looks like the shop is restricting that, so I'll remove that shop. Go back in. Oh, let's get it. And I'm just going to put these right over here, and I cannot see the triggers. Okay, might be the last time I go in here before I place this. There we go. Now, I'm not 100% sure how much this holds as far as wheat. Hopefully, it's quite a bit. Let's do some sort of snapping. I want it to kind of line up pretty good with this. Good. If y'all ever see me kind of putting something up against like this, I'm trying to line it up good. You might see it quite a bit on my Western Wilds time lapse. I'm just going to go right there. Even make a little cut through right here too. Maybe even make a cut through right here also so I don't have to back up. Here we go. Back at the chicken coop. First up, something needs unloaded. Let me take care of that real quick. <laughs> I'll bring y'all back. All right, here we are. Here is the chicken coop I put in, the little build I did, decorations, trees, you know, make it look a little good, I guess. Put in some lights too, why not? We'll see if I'm over here at nighttime or not. Now this holds 900 chickens, seems very realistic. So let's go ahead and get some wheat in here. I'm gonna go take all the wheat I got, see if it holds it all or not. I actually sent this tractor and trailer back over here from the silo at the beginning before I started recording. That was a mistake. Because now I needed to go back over there. Storage hole. There we go. Okay, you can't reach it all. Can't reach it. How about now? There you go. Good. While that's heading over there, let's get into this chicken coop. Buy a bunch of chickens. Maybe. It's all right, ain't it? Oh, there it goes. Guess that's a little too close. I can even get baby ones. Oh, look how cute that little thing is. See, this is what I don't get. Every time I've bought baby chicks, you, you never know if it's a rooster or a hen. I, I don't know. Maybe I'm just buying them from the wrong place. I mean, I buy from like a tractor supply or a local small town uh, farm store and they're never labeled it's just baby chicks one grows up to be a rooster you got a rooster now i am very impatient so let's go ahead and just get one of these roosters uh there's really no purpose for it i guess on this game and i got plenty of money so i'm not exactly trying to earn a profit here i guess let's get quite a bit of these i don't know how much yet you know what? I don't want to overdo it. Kind of want them to expand themselves. So right there, 241 total. Yep, looking good, looking good. And this blocked by object, let's see what that is. Okay, you're just trying to climb a mountain. You're not exactly blocked too much. But let me get that wheat. Let me take care of this, obviously. And then I'll get that wheat, and I'll get everything going. There we go, starting to get the wheat now. 
This trailer does hold 200,000 liters. And I don't know how much that chicken coop holds. Oh, we're about to find out. You know. So I've been trying to get used to using this map to jump vehicle to vehicle. I just got done dumping this one. And I was going to jump over here to this one because it's got my weed in it. And I realized I got a harvester sitting over here. I didn't even put my harvester up after that last harvest. Oopsie. Ah, I guess it really doesn't matter. Man, I was talking about these fields too at the beginning saying, hey, this is what's going to happen. Here's the goals. How did I not notice that? Now, the oats will be the first ones to harvest, I believe. So I've already folded up this header. I'm going to drop it over here. And go ahead and hook up to the other header and just pull in underneath the cover. I guess it really doesn't matter. It's not like rain or anything's going to do any damage to this, I don't think. But I think it just makes me happy knowing that it's put away. Now, the whole how dirty they are i don't know i kind of gave up on washing them over and over again i like i like to leave the dirt feature on and i got a wash station not over here but at my other place i got a wash station it's just like i don't like taking the time to wash it every single time it gets done so i'm just gonna leave it dirty while i'm heading over to put this weed in there let's go ahead and go over the first comment i realized i haven't went over any yet i was gonna try to mix them in here and there but uh rabbit's o fan o's fan Rabbit O's fan. I guess I got the name right. He seemed really excited about that. <laughs> as you could tell by reading that. I guess they are the South Sydney Rabbit O's. Uh, team out of Australia. Oh wow, that did not take much at all. 20,000 liters. That is not going to be good. But hey, anyways. <laughs> hey, thank you for calling me. I'm glad I got that name right. I... Yeah, it's just pure luck. That's what I said in there, pure luck. <laughs> Man, 20,000 liters. This is not good. Guess there's a way I can upgrade the capacity. I thought I had one that took a lot. I'm pretty sure I used it on my Will of Mine F series. But it's like 20,000 liters. Every single day I'm going to have to fill that up once I have like 900 chickens in there, I think. Let's just leave this here, see what happens there. But hey, Rabbit O's fan, thank you for commenting. Means a lot. I'm gonna jump over to this needs unloaded one. There we go. Set that up for a grass silo. Go ahead and start heading over there. I might finish their work. Perfect. But then Chris, Chris Stewart, another one, comments a lot. Thank you very much. Really appreciate it. Keep it up. It says uh, YouTube algorithm comment again. Nothing to see here. And then after I click into that, I got to see rest of these messages. It says I said nothing to see. So he knew I was already going to click into it. And then I put I fell for it again because he's did that. He's done that before. Yep. A lot of silly comments on there. And then here's another one of his I really liked. Gotta spend money to spend money. Something like that. It makes sense, right? Well, I mean, gotta spend money to spend money. <laughs> and then tell... I, I, and then also, I guess there's a little bit of beef going on here. People arguing back and forth on the comments section. Nah, I'm just kidding. But it does say, tell Rambo out. I don't like the YouTube algorithm, so I don't leave comments. Obviously, he leaves comments. Oh. Good old joke there I put. I'm sure he will see it himself. And then, of course, Rambo, knowing it's a joke, he just laughs at it. So, hey. It's great. It's good. People in here having fun, commenting back and forth. As long as it's all friendly and fun, let's keep at it. And thank you for that. And somebody is at the silo. See, this is what I'm talking about. There is a way to set this up where it will dump in there. Uh, I just haven't felt like messing with it, I guess. I've watched somebody else do it. I know there's videos out there to watch it, it's just, I don't know, I don't want to spend the time doing it, but honestly, it could save me the time once I figure out how to do it. <laughs> hey, another comment here, the boy Maddie. I don't normally leave comments, but I will this one. So far, the series has been awesome and has been fun to watch. It has even got me to play New Lands again and to try my own configuration of the Zero to However. 
much though I didn't last long. <laughs> Love from Australia. Hey, so it looks like I got quite a bit of people from Australia watching. So really appreciate that and thank you so much. That you, I'm glad you enjoy the series. Really means a lot. Comments like this and stuff definitely keep me motivated to keep making this content. So I changed up the pin. I think this one holds more. Holy cow, no it doesn't. It's got an extra silo on it. Come on, man. I can't keep doing this. Oh, man. Let me do some testing real quick. Find out which silo or which chicken coops holds the most wheat. I might need to plant a wheat field. Because it's not looking good. I give up. Yep. I can't seem to really find it. And this one holds 20,000. Holds 800 chickens, 100 less than that other one. I'm just going to leave this. I keep losing all that wheat. Let me fill this back up. There we go. We got 200 chickens in there total. I just... I just really don't know which one it was. I'm going to leave this here. Because I'm probably going to need it again. We'll see how fast it goes through. Maybe it's not as fast as I remember it being. And maybe the distributing can go over there. I, I don't think it can. Maybe it can. Or I could figure out this whole auto drive stuff and figure out how to unload everything. Just got done dropping off the last of the grass over here to the silo. Let's take a look into that and see how much we have. There is 1.4 million, almost 1.5 million liters of grass in there. Quite a bit. Doing amazing. Need some straw though. Blowing through straw, I believe, making manure and other stuff. But our hay and silage is maxed out. So where is that grass going to go? I think I'm going to sell this batch of silage. I don't see any reason not to, I guess. I did say I need to keep an eye on when the best time to sell is. So we are in October. Raisins is the only good thing to sell, I believe, right now. It is. How about silage? Silage is in January. We will pass over January on our way to planting the next set of crops. So this is on distribute because it is going over to the BGA. I'm going to leave that on distribute. But let's head over here to this silo thingy and start accepting it over here. Silage, turn that on, activate. So that will start coming over here now also. And I believe there's something with these priorities. This is not top priority. I've never looked into these whole priorities. Let's see if I can lower that, lower that. So priority nine, priority 10, top priority should be the BGA. BGA should get silage before this silo does i think that's how that's working somebody mentioned something about it um, i slapped that comment on here right now but i got the silo coming over here i'm even gonna go ahead and turn the hay coming over here it's going nowhere but i hold two million liters here so let's get it going there's no reason to just shut that production down i can even start making some tmr i'm gonna do that too let's turn this on and it will start making TMR with this stuff. So I I went ahead and completed a goal. But first I want to sell this. I went ahead and put it in this sell everything here. Usually I use the one with all the containers, but I'm going to go with this one. Just for the heck of it. Let's see how much money we make off this. Uh, 108,000 with an environmental score of s bonus of 6,909. Okay. Um, I find it hard to believe a mine is very environmental. But... It's fine. Whatever. <laughs> that was all just extra from filling up the production. Let's take a look at that. Production here has almost 60,000 liters iron ore, and it is making metal. I originally had that metal set on selling, but I put it on distribute because, like I said, I completed a goal. That goal would be the three productions. Let's go take a look at two of them. These two right here. What is this? Of a furniture furniture factory we'll go ahead and jump inside there this furniture factory will take in some long planks some metal some regular planks and some metal eventually get over here i did set all these on selling because what else am i going to do with them besides sell them but the metal will come over here also and then from there this one over here is a barrel factory i don't know if i can do something with these barrels afterwards but they do require all three of these, barrel, bucket, and bathtub, all require the metal. And looks like they all require long planks. So all good there. 
So I said I completed this goal of three productions. Let's take a look at the third one. It's right over here. I can't jump that. Jump. And jump. You know what? Let me just fly. Here we go. I went ahead and put in this beet cut production. Because, hey, we're going to be harvesting beets over here. And this is going to be part of the buildup of the town. So I'm going to build more over here eventually. Let's take a quick look at this, if I can stop flying around everywhere. And running fast. Sugar beet cut. Takes in a million sugar beets. Sugar beets. And puts out a, and it holds a million sugar beet cut. So that is good. We will be using that eventually. I am still working on these fields over here. It's not done, is it? Oh, it is done. Ooh, that's fast. The fertilizer. Of course, finished first. Yeah, I got tired of waiting for the lime to finish. So I went ahead and threw the fertilizer on there. So this field will have some white left in it. Quite a bit of white, actually. But I got I got those productions done. That goal is done. Let's see here. I had three productions. One of them needs to be the beets production. Cut beets production. Uh, done. Put a little check mark on there. Hey, add an animal. Chickens. Done. That goal's done. There is one thing I did notice while looking around at everything. I did notice my lime production is full. Full capacity of lime. I could set it on distribute. But that's just going to push the lime further away. So it's not too bad. I can, I can just drive over here, grab it. And go park these whenever I'm done. And I'm actually going to put a point over here. Where do I fill up at? Probably right here. This looks like some sort of dump. Good enough. Oh, I forgot to label that point. No, let me label this one. This is going to be lime production product. And then I'll make another point coming out of here. Well, I'm not going to label anything. I'm going to make it come out of here. And now I can set this on farm one and take it right back over there. And then this one is done. I can actually just set this on lime production. And it will head over there. And then I need to figure out how to do the whole fill up thing. Maybe one day. So th this is coming up to an end here. I noticed it wasn't... It's kind of spotty. I mean, you look at the map at the top of this field right here. Don't know how good you can see it, but it's kind of spotty. It's not, it doesn't seem to be fertilizing the whole thing. Kind of see it a little bit better now. So I went through, bought the soil samples again. I don't know, do I need to keep buying these soil samples over and over again? I think I noticed that on one playthrough where I had to buy it again because the information stopped updating. Let's see here. You kind of see the map here where it's all spotty and red. Hmm. Not 100% sure. Hey, let me know if you know the answer to that. Because I'm no expert here. But also another comment. Let's go ahead and look at that uh, Rambo Hacker left. I don't know. For some reason it doesn't say Rambo, Rambo Hacker Gaming. I don't know. Rambo Hacker Gaming. But Rambo Hacker. He said, alert, dad joke incoming. Hey, I'm going to insert those every now and then. I've been thinking about inserting more dad jokes. I mean, it's in my name, L Family Gaming Dad. It's like I kind of got to do it. Maybe, maybe not. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Every now and then, I like to have a good laugh on here. If you haven't noticed, I definitely ain't very serious. I like to have some fun. But grass fields are all done. We are going to look into skipping a few months. Let me plan for that. Well, um, I went ahead and looked around at a few things, checked off some productions. It's not going to be perfect. I'm sure I'm forgetting something. But we are looking at a total of almost $14 million worth of product here. I kind of want to see what this goes up to. Let's go ahead and skip all the way till March. I'm going to, I'm in October. Oh, almost forgot. Let's skip till January. Yeah, let's skip till January so I can sell that silage for top dollar. Because right here, 
says January is the best time to sell. And I'll have more by the time I get there. So we are back here in January now. And this is running low on food. Let's take a look at our animals here. Looks like they had some baby chicks grown up. 305 of those, 295 of those, 199 full-grown ones. I, I don't know how many eggs I have, actually. Okay, it's just spawning out over here. I'm going to have to do something about that to get it into some distributor. I, I do have a mod for that. I'm not too worried about it. But while I'm here, I'm going to go ahead and back this up. Fill up a rest of that wheat. And I got a feeling I'm not going to have enough wheat. And also, I need to check on these vehicles over here. Not really the vehicles, but what I got in here. Herbicide. I knew that herbicide was dropping. Seeds are dropping. Let's go ahead and do another thing of herbicide and another thing of seeds. There we go. Got a tank full of herbicide here. Just dropped off a trailer full of seeds there. Whenever I say tank and trailer, I'm meaning 200,000 liters. Big old ones. I mean, small looking ones, but they hold a lot. So that should hold us over. Solid fertilizer out of space. Okay, yeah, that's because it's making solid fertilizer. And I actually need to remember to pick up that solid fertilizer from one of my storage areas instead of buying more for whenever I go to fertilize the fields. Now, as you can tell, the money did drop quite a bit there. I have no idea how much it dropped, but let me go ahead and slap that up there with a little bit of math. And whoa, that was so cool. That trailer just raised up as it emptied out all the way. See, little things like that, that is pretty sweet. Anyways, now let me slap that number up there because I didn't want to interrupt that. <laughs> all right, that's how much I just spent right here. I'm going to take a quick look into this storage building here. Looking off on the right, y'all might not be able to see that, but I'll fill you in. The silage and the grapes are completely full. Two million liters. And I believe those are my big money makers, too. Let's see here. Grapes, I have $4.3 million worth. And silage, I have $1.3 million worth. So not much, I guess. But a total value right now of $18 million. I haven't even made it all the way there yet. So I want to do something with these grapes. Because we're just going to have an abundance over and over again. But they sell best in May. That's a million dollar difference from now in May. If I just wait to sell. But the thing is, they're not being made. Pretty sure all the production's backed up now. Yeah, I mean, it says grapes are being ran. Let's see how much it holds, actually. Well, it's almost full. So yeah, that will be stopping soon. It holds 150000 Yep, each one of these looks like they have the same amount in them, 137,000. Yep, 137,000. So that's not good. And this one only holds 10,000, so that is looking pretty full pretty quick. I gotta figure out something to do with those grapes. And while we are here, I wanna... We're over here in this grape... Or raisin, we're over here in this raisin production. While we're here, I wanna bring up another comment. I asked the question about... I can't remember exactly what I asked, but... I shut the grape juice production off because I kind of thought it was it was affecting how much raisins was being made, and it is. Somebody commented, the boy Matty, so uh, total comment here, quite a bit in there. There's quite a bit in there talking about the harvest of the fields, but a little bit in that comment talks about a Reddit post uh, about the effects of running multiple productions in a single production point, and I found it. I actually typed it in the same way he said it there, and bam, it came right up, first one. So it, it does affect it. It's amazing. So that's why I'm only having raisins run. And it broke down all the factories. I mean, I'm sure they're base game ones. This is not a base game mod. But, and then he also, another thing I want to talk about, he also mentioned there's a 40% fee for me selling stuff because I do my direct sell. I run this, I believe it's the production revamp mod. And the direct selling price factor is 0.899. I guess 0 0.9. That's what it says default is right over here, 0.9. I'm thinking what that means is 90%. I, I keep 90% of it, I guess. So about 10% of the value I do not get to keep. So it's not 40%, it's 10%. Now, I've I used to change this to one and simulate higher and drivers by putting down deductions. 
That way I wouldn't lose any money there, but I'm just going to leave it the way it is. I'll take a little loss here and there to save me a lot of time, because that would be a lot of trips. But hey, thank you for your comment. Also at the bottom of that comment says, uh, Van, that last episode I did leave a little thing in there saying, hey, if y'all made it this far, please comment the word Van. A few of y'all did, and thank you so much. Maybe y'all were watching and pay attention. No big deal. I understand. Something pops up. You'll back out of the video. It's no big deal. I made a pretty long video. I'm just like, is anybody even going to be here watching it? I was kind of wondering. And uh, some people don't even comment. Hey, that's fine too. Just, I just really appreciate y'all watching. And thank you so much for putting that comment in there and letting me know you made it that far. That really means a lot. This is what I'm going to do to solve that grape issue. And so I can still sell at the best time. This thing right here cost 450000 Might have caught the total price. I think 460 something after the Terraform. It holds 6 million liters for each product. I'm going to drop it down here next to this Raisin one. Or Grape Production and Grape Buildings. Let me fix this up where I can make it where I can drive in and out. Even though I probably won't do much driving in and out of it. But I still like it to be practical. Uh, let me get this all fixed up and set everything up to kind of come over this direction. And then we'll go from there. I think I got it all built up pretty nice. We'll take a quick look at it. I'll do a little fly. So obviously just kind of pull through and let me slow down. There we go. Okay, obviously we just kind of pull through. This is the pallet loading zone. Don't think I'll be using it because I won't really be doing anything manually. And then it will just wrap around out this direction. Made a nice little ramp going down. Should be pretty smooth that out. Put some rock decoration on the side. I didn't go too crazy. Didn't add any trees or anything yet. Could be something simple to add. Maybe a little bit later. I'm not too worried about it. More worried about getting those grapes sent somewhere and making some money. Now I am inside this one, the new one I just added, so I'll activate the grapes here, hold that, and then I'll also put them on a distributing too, that way they can still go places if they need to, but that will hold 6 million. Let's take a look at that other one that's all the way over here. This one I'm actually going to turn off, because I don't want anything even attempting to come over here. I'm going to put, I'm going to leave that on storing and once may comes around because i believe it was may once may comes around i'm gonna sell all two million of those but right now silage is set on storing i'm gonna set that on selling and i'm gonna get all two million of that sold along with maybe whatever i have in this one let's take a look how much do i got in this one i have two hundred fifty thousand silage in this one I'll, I'll leave it let's just let that one run because that silage should be making tmr how much tmr do i got Ooh, TMR is at 1.1 million liters. Ooh, how much can that hold? It's almost full. I'm actually going to... Mm, should I sell it? What's, what's the best time to sell it? I got a thing ahead here. I can't just go out selling everything. March. March is the best time to sell it. And that's weird because it says my max value will actually go down in March. I'll leave it. But that will fill up pretty soon, so let me set... Nope, I don't want to use that one. It doesn't hold that much. Let me set this one up over here to hold TMR also. I believe I got everything situated there. I got stuff over here on selling that I need to be on selling. I think. Let me double check before I go the next hour. I don't need to do that. Let's just go ahead and roll over the next hour. Roll, hour's about to roll over. Let's see what we're at. Okay, went up over a million dollars there. Here's the exact number probably right about here. Oosh. Silage, I'm going to take that off selling, leave that on distributing, and it is good to go. All right, now planting month is, let's double check, March is the time to start planting. Let's go ahead and jump ahead to March. I believe I'm all good to go. Hold up. Wait a minute. No, I'm not. I need to do something with eggs. These eggs over here are going to fill up and not produce any more. These chickens aren't going to produce any more eggs. I need to figure out something to do with that real quick. I believe this silo storage and distribution thing will do the trick. Let me... Don't know if you can tell, but there's an outline. 
Foxtail line, I believe I just place it where the eggs spawn into. And it will do everything for me. Well, I gotta hit a few buttons. So we'll come over here, activate this distributor. And it just froze up on me. See, I thought I'd learned my lesson from stop clicking on those things. Gosh dang it. Well, I'm back in. Looks like I didn't lose anything except for that egg distributor and a little bit of progress I had going here. And plus my... I got hiccups. I'm sorry. I was eating while I was waiting for all this to load. And uh, maybe I was eating a little too fast. I'm gonna try to get rid of these hiccups. And... Uh, <laughs> I don't know. What, what, what's the best way to get rid of hiccups? What do y'all think or do that's the best way to get rid of hiccups? I've always heard drink water, scare them out of you, or hold your breath. I usually just hold my breath and then they go away. I'm gonna do that a little bit so I don't keep hiccuping because that's more editing work for me and I'm gonna try to cut all that out except for that one you might have just heard. But I'm gonna get all this fixed up and then I'll bring you back right before I do that whole leg distributing thing again. So I did put it back in. Same, same exact one. But I'm not gonna click on that button. <laughs> Let's go through this way, see if I can find it. I believe these are somewhat a, a alphabetical. It seems like it, yeah. It looks like it. So here's egg distributor. Let's turn that on. What that's going to do is it's going to distribute the eggs. And I did set one of those silos over there as distributing or to receive them. But I think I gotta just pick the pallets up and it will do its thing. Yep. So as the new pallet drops into there, it will automatically distribute over. Well, it's sitting in here for now, but then it will move over. I guess, probably on the hour or something like that. That's how that works. Oh, here it is, right here. I put it in the big silo. So of course, the one that holds six million. Why not? Okay, so I think I'm good to jump ahead to March, January, February, March. Let me see if there's anything else I really want to sell between now and then. No, not really looking like it. I could probably sell the hay, but it really doesn't pay much. And I could sell that right now, but I'm not going to worry about it. We're up $3 million, $3.1 million. Let's go ahead and jump ahead to March and then get ready for planting. It is now 7 a.m. in March, and we have a little over $4 million, which is outstanding. I absolutely love it. Now it is time to start planting some stuff. First up, though, this is almost empty again. I think I'm just going to buy a bunch of wheat. Yeah, I'm just going to fill this trailer up full of wheat, let it sit here, let it dump in there. Oops. Instead of worrying, oops, horrible, but drive in there. Instead of worrying, I let it. Instead of worrying about having a harvest filled right now. So let me do that. I'm gonna fill this up with wheat. Let's see how much that costs us. Probably shouldn't be too bad. Well, it thinks I'm trying to get fuel. So <laughs> let me turn around and go from the other direction. <laughs> Maybe I put those way too close together. There we go. We will fill this up. Now with that $4 million, I'm not 100% sure what I'm going to do yet. I think I might need another cedar planter, maybe another tractor to kind of get this going faster. Obviously, I'm going to need some money for new harvest equipment for my beets. So I'm not going to spend it. Or, well, I'm not going to pay off my leases quite yet. While that's still going, I want to take a look. Our value right now is almost $19 million worth of stuff. Grapes is, ooh, grapes is way up there. Almost $6 million. I can't believe it, but I think the grapes is going to bring us home to this. Like, get us to that $100 million. It's probably going to be the grapes. Holy cow. And don't forget, a lot of that money making those grapes 
for example, I got like $6 million worth of grapes here, but the grapes actually take that herbicide. They take those seeds, all that money I'm spending on those. I mean, obviously it's going to be a profit, I believe. I'm not 100% sure where my tractors are. I got this one tractor here, but I got three planters I need to run at the same time. I got that one tractor over there with the with the chicken coop. I don't, I guess I don't need to leave it there. It just makes it easier. So it looks like I am going to be leasing some more planters or tractors. My bad. <laughs> tractors. I'm going to be leasing some more tractors. So I'm about to, I'm about to set this up on a course play. One thing I did mention last episode, I asked a question or I mentioned about changing the name of these fields. And I was mentioned, hey, naming it after subscribers or people that comment. And the boy Maddie, he replied saying it was a great idea. So this field right here, I'm going to name after you just for reply to that question. Thing is, I'm probably going to keep that three in there just for me. <laughs> And I will put some spaces in there. And there's some numbers there, 8609, but I'm not going to worry about that. Oh, it gets out of order. Well, because it goes off numbers. So let me change up this one, too. Oh, also on that comment, he was mentioning it loved the No Man Land series, likes the idea of that. And I am kind of working on that a little bit. And he thinks that pile over there could be that vegetable soil or vegetable oil, whatever it is. Um, yeah, uh, that does make sense. I have no idea what it looks like. Could be. It says don't quote me on that. And he would love some cake right now. I probably mentioned something about making cakes. I, I hate how that happens. I, I was watching Rambo Hacker the other day on one of his episodes. And he was talking about eating and food and stuff like that as a role play doing that on the game and man it made me so hungry i had to go get some food so i'm sorry if i make any of y'all hungry talking about this stuff uh it happens to me too but let me go ahead and get some of these fields named here rename this is going to be field one it's going to be that grass field we'll go with rambo and then field two i'll just go ahead and throw my other channel member in there photo sim crew Field four, I'm just going to drop the herd. And field five will be Farm Sim Universe. Spell universe right? Yeah, I did. I think. <laughs> and then field six, let's see here. Hey, I'm going to have to go with Chris Stewart here. I looked down at my notes here of all the comments I was going to review, and he's on here multiple times, so I'd feel kind of bad not putting him on here. And then Rambo Hacker Gaming, The Herd, and Farm Sim Universe. They, we talk a lot. We help each other out a lot. So, that's the main reason I want to throw them up here now. And then Odo Sim Crew, he's my second channel member. Really appreciate that. And it goes pretty good right there, man. Number two field. Now, of course, these will change each gameplay. I do have a field number seven that I have not put in on here yet. I'll figure that out whenever I get to it. <laughs> well, let's go with that. As the fields go on, I'll pick a random name out of the comments section or something like that and drop them in here. Now, I am on field three. And I don't have a planting one saved. There we go. Got it all set up. Went ahead and put a little bit more seeds in here. And hopefully that's enough. But we'll go ahead and get started. Now, while that is going, let me get another one set up. I am going to have to get some more tractors. I went ahead and leased three of them. Now, they're not all three over here. I don't know what happened. I guess probably something to do with it being so close to this building, the spawn point I put down. I do need some seeds, so let me go ahead and buy some big bags of seeds. Now, filled for the herd. Do have a plan one saved. Let's load that course. That was awesome. That is off and going. Looks like it's going good. Now this whole weed issue. Rambo Hacker did answer that question for me, saying do the spot spraying after a first, after the weeds kind of grow in, after a growth cycle happens. 
So thanks for answering that for me. Kind of thought that would be the best route because I guess the other ways kind of mess with the environmental score. And that is what I'll do. I got the sprayer and I'll spray the weeds. And thank you for that. Now let me find my other tractors. I think okay, this happened once and they just went to the regular shop. They did. But I can get that back just like that. I did get an extra one. I, I don't know. I don't know why, I guess. Maybe I need to buy another planter anyways. Cedar or something. I got to figure out how to plant those sugar beets. But this one is for the corn. So I'm going to get that all set up and going here in a minute after I get some seeds. Now, I believe this one actually does the sugar beet also. I think it's five. It is five because it says harvest corn. I put that in just in case I was going to change it. But man, I didn't save the course. Dang it. Oh, I don't think I could do the corn yet. Can I? Hold on. No, it's next month. Oops. I'll just drop that right there. Let's go ahead and get another cedar, I guess. <laughs> oh, actually, like I said, I think this is what's used for the sugar beet. So let me back up to it and check that out. I think that is the image down there, and I will verify against this. Sugar beet, yes. Though not a complete waste. Let's just save this course. That way I don't run into this issue again. I'm over here at the sugar beet field. I want to check something before I get too far into it. I want to see what it tells me my estimated time is because it is going to be ugly. Estimated time, 37 minutes. I guess that's not too bad, but the thing is, I want it to go a lot faster. So I'm going to try something different. I'm going to get another tractor and another another one of these planters, and I'm going to run two. Let's open this up. I uh, will do one headland at this point. I'm going to run two tools, and we should be good. And this is going to be the left one. I'll let it go ahead and go. Kind of already went down that path a little bit, I think. So what that means is it's going to be off to the left. And then the next one I do is going to be off to the right. And I will just go ahead and buy another one of those. I think it's not that. It's a planter here. Want to make sure I get the same thing. I will go ahead and buy that. Guess I kind of got the money to waste. But yeah, let's get that over to the field. I need to save that course so this one can pick up that same course and work on the right side of it. So I'll do that in a minute. Now uh, it's time to name that field. So let's see what I got here. Looking through these list of names here. Sorry if I don't pick you. Nothing personal. Just, just continue commenting. Really appreciate it. Yeah, I'm trying to get everybody in here as I can. I mean, I'm already looking at this list of comments that I got. So your name's already going to be in here, but sorry if I don't pick you for this field name. Uh, what do I got here? Sloth Squad Gaming. Let me get him on here. He is another person who has donated. He has not been a monthly channel member, but he has bought me a coffee. So I really do appreciate that. And this is my way of kind of showing some more appreciation. So whenever people get on here and watch these videos and see these file names, they'll probably read them and be like, Who, who's that? Or something like that. So Sloth Squad Gaming is going to be field number seven. And let's save this course. Planting times two. So coming up to this, I'll show you all how this works exactly. So I'll go into my courses here. I need to load this course. It's now loaded. It's saying left but I need to go right. 
and this will start off the first waypoint. Hopefully they don't run into each other. If I did start them at the same time, they would have distanced. They would have distanced themselves. Pretty good, and it would have worked out like that. Maybe it's turning around. Maybe one headland's not enough. I uh, will crank up the speed because I like to work fast. So as you can tell, it's going down the right side of the line now. That's the idea behind that. So now let's just hope they don't run at each other, I guess. What is this? Oh, that's the sun shining through. Okay. Yeah, it's got some weird shadows coming through here. You see, I'm just following this line. But hey, as you can tell on top, both these field work things are finished. I'm going to get one over to another field because I got to plant some oats there. You know what? Let me take this one. It's nice and clean. I got to go plant another oat field. And then these fields also need to be rolled. And then I'll bring this in. Course play. This is field six. Yeah, field six. That's going to be a planting. Let's load this course. Build six, Chris Stewart. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. I just forgot something. I forgot to do the samples over here. Uh -oh. Hopefully the planting is not that big of a deal. There we go. Yeah, ho hopefully the planting's not really that big of a deal. I was just pulling this back, taking the cedar back. And I looked in the top left, and it's showing a seed rate. I'm like, that's pretty low seed rate. It's got the one bubble. Select it, and then I'm like, oh crap, I forgot to do the other one. <laughs> so, oopsie. I don't think it's going to make that big of a difference for the planting. I mean, it's probably just the max seed rate. So I guess I was wasting seeds, maybe. So that's a... That's all dropped off. I believe it's this roller right over here. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and get hooked up to this roller and start rolling some of these fields. This shouldn't take long because this is a very big roller. After the rolling comes the lime. So I'm going to set this up. It's going to take off going. pH levels are looking good. So it looks like it's not going to take very much lime. Which is good. I like that. And then after that makes a few passes, I'll probably come in with the fertilizer and hit it up. Let's see how that roller's going. It's all the way down here. You can see where it breaks. Hey, going good. Let's jump into some flight mode here. Take a quick look at uh, this field going over here. They're over here doing their thing. This one is the second one falling behind. This one actually is pretty low on seeds. I checked it a little while ago, so I'm kind of worried it's going to run out. I went ahead and bought another tractor and roller. I mean, that roller is almost done and something needs refilled. But even though that roller is almost done, I don't want to exactly roll this big field with one roller. I'm going to set it up on a two course play thing again, just like I did with these planters. So eh, maybe I need it. I didn't lease it. I went ahead and bought it. So I don't feel too bad about it. <laughs> Let's see here. This is the third field, the boy Matty. And rolling. Load that course, activate it. We'll go first waypoint. And while that is setting up for that first waypoint, I need to turn off that. And I need to speed this thing up. I don't know if y'all noticed, but I did switch over to kilometers per hour. I was doing some testing on no man's land and stuff like that. And I was like, hey, I need to go ahead and just plan kilometers per hour because no man's land is located on southern France. And I should have probably already had it for this map too. I'm not 100% sure where this map is located, but I do know it's not America. So, and that is going, needs rolling, is done. Hey, good. There's one out here that needs refilled. I'm just gonna get a couple of big bags right there. I don't exactly want to put too much out here because I don't want to leave some out here in the field. I can't remember how much this thing holds, but I don't think it's more than 3,000. 
And just to be on the safe side, I'm going to back up some before I start going again. And I'm going to put it on nearest waypoint, and this should work out good. Got 85% full on that. Shouldn't be an issue. Now, where's my other one at? Over here. Let's see what how much is in here. I don't know if I'm going to run out of it or not. This was on the field for less time before I got the soil samples, so that means it's probably not wasting that much seeds. So hopefully one tank is enough, and I don't have to keep filling it up like that. Now, roller over there is going. Fertilizer still going. This roller is done. Let me get it out of the way. Head over to this other field, which should be finishing up pretty soon. And then I should have both rollers ready to go on that large beef field. First cedar planter thing is just finished up on this large beef field. That is amazing. Trying to... While... Well, this just popped up, but a little while ago, I was trying to figure out what I should do for fertilizer and lime. Obviously, I could buy another one of those trucks, let it go up and down, but I don't think it's working out that good. I don't really like them. I don't know. <laughs> I'm going to look around, see if I can find something with a little, quite a bit of better spread, I guess, than what that does. And maybe I'll go with it. We'll see. I'm just going to go back with these trailers. I have quite a bit of tractors... And I think these might actually go a little bit faster than those trucks do. I don't really care for those trucks. I don't know. They just don't seem to be working out that good. I don't I don't. I don't know. But hey, I can send this over to Lime Production. And you'll go over there and get you some lime. I think I just have those leased. Let's see here. Yep, it's these two trucks. I'll return them. I'll go ahead and return this one. This, if you don't know, this is the one up at the BGA. It's no longer needed. I uh, guess this is a different one. It says I own quite a bit. I'm going to go ahead and purchase this one. It's got four hours on it. Yeah, I think I should purchase it. <laughs> I did just roll over to the next hour. I didn't really like all these shadows on here. It's getting kind of dark. Might roll over another hour here in a minute. But this is going to... I'm going to create a course here, I guess. We'll do one headland, two rollers, create the field work. Let's see how good that goes. Now, I did notice an issue. This corner right over here, I don't think it got it. And I'll show you what I'm talking about in a minute. Right over here, something's missing. It did not get planted here. Looks like it missed it. I'm just going to live with it. <laughs> Back over here, dumping all this lime on the ground, because obviously it's missing the trailer. But I have no idea how much lime I got in here. I actually brought my other tractor over here. I'm going to get me a, another trailer. Well, it looks like it's quite a bit. I'm going to get me another trailer, hook it up here, fill it up, and then send it back over there. This other cedar planter just finished up, and I wanted to bring y'all back in to look at how much seeds is left. There is 82 liters of seeds left in this thing. That is... <laughs> that is crazy. Came back over here, put up my roller. Forgot I had that large field to do again. <laughs> I need to get used to realizing I'm doing multiple ones on a field now. So, <laughs> I went ahead and did something. Maybe a little too crazy. You see here it says left two, left one, right one, right two. That means I'm going to have four tractors on this field here. We'll go ahead and start with left two. And I did name this course Lime times four. I went ahead and got my other Lime and trailers and tractors from my grass fields. Since I have the auto drive set up and everything, I could easily just tell them to go back over there. Hey, somebody finished work. This one did. Guess what? You're lime. And guess where you're going now? <laughs> yeah. Oh, wait. No, this is fertilizer. My bad. I don't know if I'm going to run more than one fertilizer or not. The fertilizer seems to go by pretty fast. It's a lot wider of a spread. 
118 feet compared to, I believe, my lime is a 39 feet something. For those of you that don't know, with the four setups, there's two off to the left of the line, two off to the right of the line. So this is left one, left two is the line over there that's already got done. And when I mean line, I'm talking about this one that's showing up right here that we're looking into. So that's how that works. Now my right one and right two will be off to the right side of that line. This is my line number four. It's going to be the last one to get on this field over here. Looks like that roller's going on over there. Something's going on. Hopefully nobody runs into each other. I got five tractors right now on this field so something's bound to happen yeah one two three four this will be number five on the field go ahead and load that course and this is going to be right number two take a look at it and i'll just hit first waypoint and go with it this fertilizer is done i think i'm going to run two fertilizers on that field I was talking about not doing it, but I might. Might as well get it done faster. Looks like we got a little bit of a hiccup here. Easy fix, I think. Come on, let's go. Yep, I think so. I think that worked out good. Let's take a quick little flyover, see how everything's going. I, d I don't know why there's this, but it's there. Uh, I'm good with it. I like it. I mean, it's going. Now, after all those get off the field, I'm probably gonna I'm probably gonna wait till they all get off the field. I don't know. Not a hundred percent sure yet. But I'm going to start up the fertilizer next. I might just go ahead and put them on the field anyways. I mean, it's going to be a disaster probably having six tractors on this field. But it should be easy to fix if there is an issue. I mean, I, there's no guarantee there's going to be an issue. So, might as well get the progress done while I can. Well, I'm going to go ahead and get one of these fertilizers on here. Get it going. Looks like somebody's finished with work. That would be one of these lime ones. Hey, I like that. Almost out of lime, but it's all good, I think. Now, I don't know which one goes over here. Somebody else is done, too. Who else is done? There we go. That's kind of what I was looking out for. Now, I don't know which ones go back to the grass fields. They're the same tractor, they're the same trailer. So I'm just going to send back my first two. I'm actually going to send them back to the lime production, get refilled there. Keep using that while I can. Uh, let's see here. Let's get this loaded in. Oops. Let's load FERT times two. And this one will be off on the right side. So I guess I only have five on the field. Not bad. I might have a problem. I might have to meet tractors, because I think I still have four of them over at the other place. <laughs> Coming together pretty good. Got all of this equipment in here. Man, this is... This series has been making some huge progressions. At least I think, well, for me it has. I have been putting a lot of hours in on this. Let's take a look at that. I mean, probably not going to be a lot to some people. But today, well, this only says two hours. That's because I had a crash in there. Today, I've been playing about four or five hours just on this episode. And that this episode is really long. So I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I've got an hour and 40 minutes, hour and 42 minutes right now of recording. But everything's done. I believe all I got to do is wait for it to grow up. Weed the fields that need weeded. Well, spray them. And this field is all done now. 
it's not going to look pretty because the fertilizer got dropped down before the lime. So yeah, there will be these lime spots, but it is good. It's on perfect levels for pH and nitrogen right here. So it's just going to look a little different, but I'm not really too worried about looks right now. I'm more worried about getting the job done. That is going to wrap up this episode. I did not complete all my goals. I'm sorry. Just got so much going here playing along. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, well, well, there's always next episode. Now, like I said before, I do have quite a bit of comments here I want to go over. And if I didn't mention you in this episode, I probably have it written down here. For example, there's a Tyler Davidson, a Chris Ast, maybe? I don't know. <laughs> It's uh, Chris, then A-S-S-T. I don't know if it's all one word or not. And then there's other comments from Sloth Squad Gaming, Odo Sim, The Boy Maddie, Cools Gaming, The Herd, and Farm Sim Universe. Now, I got all these comments. I got this stuff written down, so I didn't make it in this episode. I'll probably make it in the next episode. Well, that's actually going to wrap up this episode. I... Thank you so much for watching, especially if you stuck through it and made it this far. It really means a lot. I'm not going to put no special word out there this time like I did last episode. But hey, I really do appreciate it. Y'all are amazing for watching and liking and being subscribed to this channel. It, I really do appreciate it. I don't know what else I can say. I'm just going to try to keep getting out this content. Uh, something that y'all will enjoy. That's what I'm going to keep striving for. So... Feel free to leave any tips, tricks, or suggestions down in the comments section. Helps out a lot with those tips and tricks. I don't know everything. I'm learning. This series has been Teach Me a Bunch. And until next time, y'all take care.